Welcome to the part 2 of the TIA portal training. In today's session, we are going to see how we can use normal open and normal close contacts in the ladder logic programming. But before starting, I would really request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. One thing I want to clear here is that any discrete device sensor which we connect with our PLC inputs, it can be represented in the ladder diagram as normal open or normal close contact. These discrete input devices can be a emergency stop button, push buttons, limit switches or the proximity sensors etc. If we are using this normal open contact in our program for our discrete input like a push button, so normally this contact will be open as soon as we press our push button this contact will get closed and it will energize any coil which is connected at the end of this rung and if we are using this input as a normal close contact this contact will be normally closed and in normal condition because this contact is closed it will energize this coil and as soon as we turn on our push button this closed contact will get opened up and it will turn off our output coil for our today's tutorial we have connected two push buttons at the two inputs i124.0 and i124.1 inputs of the plc and one output led is connected at the Q124.0 output of the PLC. So in this example we are going to see how we can use the normal open and normal close contacts to make a simple hold on logic. So first of all we will delete all this and we will insert a normal open contact of I124.0 which is our input push button start push button and we will assign this output coil as a Q124.0 which is our output 1. So next we will start the simulator and load the program into this uh, simulator. Once the program is uploaded into the PLC simulator, we will go online with the PLC and start monitoring this uh, simple ladder. As you can see that this is the normal open contact and it is assigned the 124.0 or start push button address and as soon as we turn on this push button i124.0 it has energized our output q124.0 so as soon as we turn off our start push button this contact gets opened up and it has turned off our output q124.0 so this is a very straightforward and simple logic so next thing i want to do here is that i want to hold on our output q124.0 which means that if I only press this start push button once and release this push button, the output Q124.0 should get latched on and it should remain on. So for this one, we will again go offline with the PLC and we will insert another branch here and we will insert a NO contact and I'll connect this branch here with the main run and we will assign this no contact the address of our output and now this no contact is a contact of this coil q124.0 so whenever this output is energized this no contact will also close so the logic here is very simple as soon as we press our start push button and it will energize our output Q124.0 but at the same time our normal open contact of output Q124.0 also get closed 
and through this contact this output remains on even if we release the start push button i124.0 next we will load this program into the plc and let's see what happens now as i turn on this i124.0 it has turned on our q124.0 output coil and its contact is also closed because we have assigned the same address to this normal open contact and from here this output q124.0 is latched on and if we release our push button i124.0 this output still remains on and the next thing is that we cannot turn off our output q124.0 now to turn off our output we have to use a nc contact here next again we will go offline and insert a normal close contact here and we can assign this as i124.1 which is our stop push button so this push button is normally closed next we will load this ladder logic into the plc again turn off our plc refresh it load the program into the plc run the plc go online with the plc now you can see that as soon as i turn on again the push button i124.0 it has lagged down our output q124.0 through this normal open contact and even if i turn off this push button start push button i24.0 this output is still latched on now to turn off this one we have to trigger this input i124.1 by pressing the start push button once so what it will do is that it will open up this nc contact so once this nc contact normal close contact is opened it will break the logic path from here and it will turn off our output q124.0 so let's so let's push the stop push button once as you can see that for a moment this stop push button gets opened up and it break the path and as the logic path breaks it has turned off our output q124.0 so this is how we can use the normal open and normal close contacts to make logics into the plc program in third session we are going to learn the rising edge and the falling edge and together in the third session we are going to learn how we can make a simple program to make a logic for small filling machine box filling machine using normal open normal close contacts and rising and falling edges so that's the end of the today's session do share like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials till next time take care and goodbye